Welcome to Cloud Academy's course, An Introduction to Azure Functions, Serverless Computing in the Microsoft Cloud. This is an intermediate level course that assumes some prior knowledge for the student. Azure Functions is a developer-oriented tool, so this course is geared towards programmers familiar with languages and platforms like .NET, Python, and Node.js. We'll demonstrate functions concepts using all of these languages. To get the most from this course, you should have a basic familiarity with cloud computing and Azure. Some prior exposure to the Azure Management Portal is helpful, though not strictly necessary. Finally, a basic understanding of web programming concepts like HTTP verbs and payloads, query strings, and REST API definition will serve as a good foundation for building APIs with Azure Functions. We'll touch on these topics and more throughout the course. Upon completion of the course, you should be comfortable with the following topics. Defining relevant use cases for serverless computing on Azure. Defining the major features of Azure Functions. Comparing the pros and cons of Azure Functions with related alternatives. Implementing APIs in Azure Functions using c -sharp, Node.js, and Python. Integrating Azure Functions with other Azure services. And examining the future implications of serverless in the cloud. A brief note about your instructor. I'm Josh Lane, a Cloud Academy researcher and instructor. I've been a software developer focused on cloud and data technologies for several years and have worked around the world for clients in industries such as energy, finance, and more. I was awarded Microsoft's Azure MVP designation for both my development work and my activities promoting cloud and Azure technologies in the technology community. Thanks for attending the course. Before we start, let's review the course agenda. First, you'll learn about serverless computing in the context of what's come before and how we've gotten here. Next, you'll review the Azure Functions service and see a number of key features demonstrated. You'll also take a closer look at testing and debugging of Azure Functions before moving on to an examination of deployment and monitoring strategies. After this, you'll learn about ideal use cases for functions, as well as the functions pricing model. And finally, you'll wrap up with a brief discussion of what lies ahead for the serverless cloud model and how that might impact your application architectures in the coming months and years. 